you guys should be able to see a lineup of the products that I've been using uh, over the past four years. A few of them have worked, uh, a couple of them maybe I have flakes with it. So let's just do a run through to show you everything that I've tried throughout my lock-in process. The very first thing that I started off with was my lock-in twist gel. And I've used this from day one from when I first started my locks and I love it. I love the hold, I love the way um, it sets my hair after I twist it. And I've used this for maybe about a year when I first started. Only thing I did not like was the fact that I got flakes um, maybe a week after I twisted my locks. So it had a really good hold, but my issue with this was the flakes afterwards. Also, the Carol's daughter. Um, what it, this isn't the actual bottle because I don't have it anymore. But it looked pretty much like this, and it was the Carol's daughter. Um, can't remember what it's called exactly, so I'll put like the name in a pop up so you guys know. But it was some kind of a, a lock and paste by Carol's a daughter. Really um, orangey kind of smell to it. it Smell really good. But that also gave me flakes. The hold was really nice on that as well. It was a different consistency. It wasn't really a gel. It was more of, I can't even explain how it was, but it definitely wasn't a gel. More kind of like a paste maybe. I like how it smelled. I like how it held my hair. I just did not like the fact that it flaked and then um, the after smell to it. So I did away with that as well. I also used to put the Elasta QP Glaze on my hair and I used that with, at that time I would use the Elasta QP. I also use my coconut oil, which I have in this container, and um, beeswax. And that helped my hair like nothing else. The way my hair would just stay in place. It was such a stiff hole, like I love it. But back then like when I first started people they were telling me you know wax isn't good for your hair the bees wax so I did away with that as well so so far I used the lock-in twist gel I used the lock-in um, the lock-in paste from Carol's daughter I tried the bees wax I've tried the QP glaze and then I moved on to trying this um, organics olive oil did nothing for me at all. The consistency of this was a little bit too loose. Ooh, hope it don't fall off. If you guys can see, anything like this doesn't really do much for my hair. So I tried this maybe once and I still have it. It's been like two, three years since I've used this. Also, Jamaican mango and lime does nothing for my hair at all. The, the gel that I tried had a consistency like this and it didn't hold my hair whatsoever. I've also tried Talia Wajid. This is the type hold formula. And I can show you guys that I still almost have a full container here and the consistency of it. It smells really good. Actually smells like it smells like a pina colada. My favorite drink. And this one says um tight hold for resistant and hard to hold locks and hair. didn't do nothing for me so throughout all that like my eco styler is always my go-to um, this is the second kind that I've tried I tried the original one with the olive oil and then I've tried this one I tried the eco styler with the argan oil and I like how this hold uh, the flakes isn't as bad as something that I can work with because of the results that I get from it so I always end up going back to this no matter what I try one more product that I try and I really like uh, but it gave me flakes as well the name of this rubbed off because I've used it so much but I'm gonna try to link it below or do a pop-up with the name I got this from someone they sell it on Etsy and I think this container might have been like 10 bucks. Uh, my girl Alana on, on Facebook, she put me onto it. She actually cut her locks off, but she had long, 
beautiful locks like she was my lock envy until she cut her hair off <laughs> she's still beautiful like extremely beautiful without it but i loved her locks like they were so lush and full and black and just beautiful and i asked her what product she was using and she told me that she ordered it from this i think it said ancient something on here but it's it kind of looks like the elastic qp the, the glaze that kind of consistency and I was skeptical about this at first too but with this I just um, sprayed a little bit of the glycerin water in here and I would like put it on my hair just to loosen up the texture and um, it worked really well but what I actually started using this for instead of locking my hair I actually started using this for my edges so the video that I did my um, Rosie the Riveter hairstyle I would just this is really good for edges when I tell you like I would just put it on and I slick my hair back and I brushed it maybe a couple times and it, it dries almost instantly so as you pull your hair back you just hold it for a couple seconds and it just slicks in place and dries just like that so I actually use this for any kind of hairstyle if I want it to look as though I don't have locks like maybe when I do my afro and I, my hair isn't twisted I'll just slick my hair back with that. So this actually is really good for slicking back your edges and um, it's good for twisting as well. So those are the products that I've been using or I've tried over the years. Um, like I said, some of them worked for me, some of them didn't do a thing, so they're still sitting here. With the Talia Wajid line, I've tried the Lock and Twist Gel, I've tried the shampoo, um, it smells amazing smells really good but the lather is nothing compared to the lather from the carol's daughter tweed shampoo and i think because i got accustomed to that like that's what i started expecting something that lathers really fast and easy but this doesn't really do that i have to use a lot of this just to get a good suds for my hair but i believe in the talia waji african healing oil this stuff is like majorbomb.com i love it put this in my hair um love the nozzle that it has and i would just moisturize my scalp with this and it also smells really good you can tell like i'm a sucker for smells but what i realized um maybe back in the winter time when i was living in philly and i would put this all over my hair when i was done i would still have some on my hands so i rub it on my arms and this thing is so good for moisturizing the skin. My skin felt really soft the next morning when I woke up. It was ridiculous. So I started using it on my skin as well, um, on my legs and everything. And I love the way that it feels. It says on here, eliminates dryness, and it really does. So those are just, you know, the products that I've tried over the years. I've also tried um, aloe vera gel. <sighs> what else have I tried? I can't even think of anything else but I tried a lot and I do have something that I always go back to but you know like you just always want to try something new you always think something is new and better and simpler so time, you guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was informative and helpful to you if you have locks if you're starting this journey if you're already on this journey uh, let me know if you have any questions any comments any concerns just post them below and until next time guys keep rising and have a good night